Hi, I'm Brent. I'm 44, and I live in Mount Joy, Pennsylvania. My stepfather committed suicide after 30 years of opioid use in February of 2019. I was five years old when he and my mother married. I remember sitting next to him playing video games and watching movies. I didn't spend time with him also with opioids. I think that's what I'm trying to get to. That, that it was from his next surgery all the way up until his death. There was always some combination of that in his Having survived a fire accident and being prescribed Demerol, I can understand how physically intoxicated and after the crash, when I was working full time in IT, sitting on a correction pelvis, on Demerol, it was like I didn't care. I didn't exist. I was so lucky to have a nurse who caught on and said, we're going to stop that today. I think it's been overprescribed because of how effective it is at eliminating pain. Unfortunately, it seems like trying them it leads to a whole series of other issues. When you talk about certain drugs to people, they lose respect for you. And it's hard to recover that respect. Who wants to be shamed and judged and, and considered weak? I have more compassion for those who have gotten themselves onto these things, especially if they've been prescribed. Those conversations are not easy to have when someone has a prejudice about having tried it in the first place.